In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a three page website with RapidWeaver and publish it online in just five minutes. So let's get started and create our first project. Then we want to add some pages. So click the add button, go to all plugins and select styled text. Your pages will be added to the sidebar here. Double click and rename this one as home. A styled text page is basically a blank canvas where you can drag and drop text, images and other content directly onto your page. Now the first thing to remember with RapidWeaver is that it has two modes, an edit mode where you add and change your content and a preview mode where you see what your site looks like in the browser. By default, RapidWeaver uses the off-road theme. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to switch to the new Voyager theme. So scroll down and select Voyager here. You'll see that RapidWeaver automatically updates in the background. Now the first thing I want to do is customize the title and slogan for our site. So go to the general settings and update them here. To save time, I'm going to drag in my slogan. Now when we go back to preview, you'll see RapidWeaver automatically updates. We're going to look at updating this banner image later, but for now I want to style some of my content. So go back to the edit mode. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add a title. So highlight some text, go to the HTML drop down menu and select heading 1. Next, you might want to style some of your text, so highlight it and use the style controls in the bar here. I'm going to make this bold and change the color to red. Now when we go back to preview, you'll see that RapidWeaver has applied those styles for us. So next, I'm going to add a gallery. To do that, click the Add button, go to All Plugins and select Photo Album. Again, your page gets added to the sidebar. Double click and rename this as Gallery. As always, with RapidWeaver, you can just drag and drop in some content. So I have some photos here that I'm going to use. Just drop them into the page. Next, I'm going to customize how this gallery looks. To do so, open up the page inspector. This is where all of the page specific settings are held. For this tutorial, I'm just going to concentrate on the last tab here. This is where we can adjust how the gallery will look. Choose gallery as the album type and give it a title. Next, I'm going to adjust the thumbnail size. Now when we go to preview, you'll see that RapidWeaver has built a gallery for us, including a thumbnail of each image. When I click on that image, you'll see that we get the full size image and some navigation up the top. The final page of my site will be a contact form. So again, click the add button, go to all plugins and select contact form. We'll rename this to contact us. If I go straight to preview here, You'll see that RapidWeaver automatically builds a form for us. Your visitors can fill this out, click submit and you'll be sent an email. If you want to customize the form, you can add new fields by clicking the plus button and perhaps you want to ask them what their favorite coffee is. You can select the field type here, but we'll leave it as text field for now. If you want to organize these fields, you can just drag and drop. Now when you go to preview, you'll see that that field has been added to the form. So finally, I want to change the banner image for my site. To do so, go to the general settings, scroll down and you'll see a banner area here. As usual, you can just drop in your content. Go back to preview and you'll see that the banner image has been updated on every page of your site. You can adjust this on a per page basis via the page inspector. However, this is looking good for now. I think we're ready to publish the site. To do so, go to the publishing setup. RapidWeaver will add a template destination for you. I'm going to rename this as the live server. Next, I'm going to choose FTP as my publishing method. Finally, I'm going to enter my server details here. Once you've entered your username and password, click the test button and RapidWeaver will ensure that it can connect to your server. Finally, we just need to add the path. If you're unsure of what this is, please contact your hosting company for more details. However, in my case, it's simply unbeweavable. And finally, I'm going to customize how many connections RapidWeaver can make when publishing. I'm going to choose six because I know my server can handle that. Now, when we go back to preview and click publish, RapidWeaver will just ask us to enter our domain name into the web address field. Once you've done that, click continue, and then you'll be asked to save your project. Once you've saved your project, RapidWeaver will publish your site online. When publishing has been completed, you can visit your site in the browser.
And it's as simple as that to get a site online with RapidWeaver.